Hello and welcome back to SciTi Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a laser light show with using just a few simple components and a laser to shine on a reflective surface to be able to make these beautiful patterns when playing music. Let's get started. <laughs> This right here is the schematic that you're going to need to make for this audio amplification circuit. And these are the items you're going to need to make for this circuit. The items you're going to need is this laser pointer, which you can find at any grocery store or any pet store, a clothespin, which will hold the laser pointer, this CD, which will be the reflective surface that you're going to need to cut a piece off to reflect the laser light to make these unique patterns an 8 ohm 2 watt speaker, an audio jack, and a perf board, an LM386 microcontroller, an 8 pin IC socket holder, a 220 ohm resistor, a 22 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, a 1000 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, a slide switch, a 9 volt battery clip, a 9 volt battery, and this cardboard tube which will house the entire electronics. And you're going to need this latex balloon. Now let's go ahead and assemble this project and let's get started. First you're going to need to take your IC socket holder and place it in the center of the perf board. Solder one pin into place. Hold the IC socket holder flat and then remelt the solder. That way everything is flush to the board. And now solder the rest of the pins into place. And it should look just like that. Next you're going to need to take your 220 ohm resistor and place it onto pin 2 and 3. Bend the leads over. Solder bridge it together. Cut off the leads, and it should look just like this. Next, you're going to need to take your 22 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, where this side is a negative and this side is positive. What you need to do is connect the negative to pin 4 and the positive to pin 3. Just like that, push it in and bend it over. Bend over the leads so you can solder bridge them together. Just like that. Cut off the leads and it should look just like this. Next take your 1000 microfarad electrolytic capacitor and connect the negative to pin 5. Bend the leads over solder it into place, and then solder bridge it together. Next you're going to need to take your negative wire, solder it to pin 2, and then solder it to pin 4. Take your 9 volt battery connector, connect the positive to pin 6, solder bridge it to 6. Take the negative of the battery clip and connect it to pin 4. Solder it into place. Now take your audio jack, and the green is negative and the red is positive. Solder the green negative to pin 2. and then solder the red positive to pin 3. Next, take your LM386 microcontroller and place it into its socket. And there you have it, the circuit is almost complete. What you're going to need to do is you need to attach your speaker to the circuit. And here are the positive and negative wires. Solder the blue to the negative, solder the green to positive. Solder the 
blue to the negative, which is pin 4. Then solder the green wire to the positive of the 1000 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. And it should look just like this. Now your circuit is complete. Next, we're going to take the CD and we're going to cut off a section of the CD to make the reflective surface. There we go. Now we have our reflective surface ready to use. And this part is the top part. This is the bottom. And I removed the top part. And as you can see, it's cleaner and more reflective. Next, I'm going to go ahead and get some hot glue and glue it to the bottom of the speaker. And as you can see, I have cardboard on the bottom of the perf board. Doing that keeps everything insulated to prevent any short circuits. Glue it together just like that. And there, complete. Next, I'm going to take the speaker and place it inside of the tube just like this. Go in deep enough, reach inside. And then I'm going to go and push with the screwdriver to make it straight. Pounding it in straight will then lock itself inside the tube. A little bit more to make it more straight, and there. The speaker has locked itself inside. Now I'm going to go make a hole in the side of the tube, so that way I can push the audio jack through. There we go, just like that. Next, we're going to take the 9 volt battery and connect it to the circuit. And place it inside. Now let's go ahead and take my laser pointer. And I'm going to go and turn the laser pointer in a way where the closed pin is pushing on the button. And I want to place it just right about here, just like that. Put a little bit of hot glue, so that way I can get the laser to point at the very center of the speaker. A little bit of cardboard for extra support. And there you have it. Now the laser is in place. Next, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and cut this cardboard tube in half. And there you have it, it is now cut in two. Now, I didn't put the slide switch inside because I was just testing this out. Now, as you can see, there's this reflective surface that I have glued onto the speaker. And I tried to put the laser on that to make it work, and it doesn't work. This is why I've cut this tube in two, because what I needed to do instead that does work is to take my balloon. And what I want to do is take my balloon, cut off part of it, and put it over the tube, you know, cut about here. I want to cut it right about here, and I want to take the balloon, stretch it out, and place it on top of the tube, just like that. And by doing that, I want to take the reflective surface and put it onto the balloon, which will then allow the speaker to vibrate the balloon and make it make the laser light show look a lot better. There we go, cut off the balloon just like this. Stretch it out, place it over the tube just like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my electrical tape and tape the balloon down. Using the balloon method works a lot better because the speaker will make the balloon vibrate better which will then make the laser light show look much cleaner and better. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my hot glue, put it at the very center of the balloon, take my reflective piece and place it on top of the glue just like that, and there, it should look just like that. Now this top piece needs to go on top, make sure the laser is aligned to shine onto the reflective piece, and tape it in. As you can see, it's in a slight angle because that's how I got the laser to work. 
this isn't my best project and I'm actually a little disappointed in it because I thought it was going to work where it was going to be on the speaker, but instead I had to use the balloon. That seems to be the only way for it to work. So now let's go ahead and test it out. As you can see, the reflective surface is right there, ready to reflect the laser light. Turn the laser so the clothespin can push the button. And there you have it. Now let's go ahead and test it out. As you can see, the laser is shining on the reflective surface. And as you can see, it's shining on the ceiling, just like that. Now let's test it out. You can play any kind of music you want to be able to have an interesting light show. This one right here is a oscilloscope music that I found on YouTube. Now I would have the audio playing to demonstrate it, but you know, due to copyright issues on YouTube, I can't do that. So you just have to take my word for it and see this is what it looks like if you search for oscilloscope music on YouTube. Playing oscilloscope music will play different wavelengths of sound, which will give you these different types of patterns. And there you have it. Now you know how to make your very own laser light show with using just a few simple components and a few simple parts. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTi Tech. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to like and subscribe and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTi Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.